This is a video on how to change a payslip that has already been processed. For example, if I click into the My Employees, I can see my list of employees here. Say, for example, I made a mistake. I put in the wrong information with regard to this employee, the wrong salary, or maybe the wrong amount of expenses, or maybe I forgot to put in something like a BIK or something like that. The only way to change it is to do a rollback. If I click into the tax card, I can see I've only processed week one. I made a mistake on that week, so the only way to do it would be to roll back the information. It can do it for just one employee, or you can do it for everybody. A way to do this then is to go to Utilities and Rollback. I see here my list of employees, and over here to the right, it just shows me the week that's been processed for them. If I made a mistake on Sarah, I'll just highlight her, first or last name, doesn't really matter, and click Rollback. It'll just advise me to confirm that I do want to roll back. I'll say yes, and then OK. We'll now see that nothing has been processed. Last process has gone back to zero. Everyone else is still processed and remains unchanged. If I wanted to roll back everybody, I would do this just individually for each person. Once I'm happy, I've rolled back anyone I need to. I hit close. And now I need to do the timesheet again. This was for the third of the first. Press OK. And I can see now these three people, there's nothing in there for them, but everybody else remains unchanged. After I do a rollback, it's always very important to just hit clear payments. So for each employee, even though they are blank, I will hit clear payments so that I can re-enter in their data. Highlight the employee, first name or last name, and clear payments. It's now time to enter in the information again. I can use my auto update, it will repopulate all the information. If there was extra information I might want to change, like the expenses should be 100 euro. I'll just change that here. And it'll just bring in the information here. If the amount was different, if I need to do a no certain number of weeks or something like that, pop in the units and it'll change the total. If there's anything else that needs to be done, any additional rate of pay, like ex expenses maybe, and I enter in all that information here. Once I'm happy that everything has been done, I hit close and I just reprocess. So it'll always ask me to do a backup again, I will say yes, and I will back up the information. Close out of that, same date, the 3rd of the 1st, press OK, and for these three employees, I did a rollback, so nothing is in for those employees. These people I did not, and so their information stays as it is. I hit calculate pay, again it'll tell me that it won't be able to make changes, just say yes, and if I click into each employee, I'll see now that there's information for everybody. Hit close here and then you go back into your payslip and either print or email the new ones.